Hey, welcome back to our channel. This is Jared from 3C's Recreation. We have a 2022 Beta Cross Trainer. The customer just purchased this bike. It's PDI, so right now it's 100% stock. We're gonna do a two inch lowering kit to this bike. I thought it'd be cool to show you guys true height right now of an actual bike in the showroom. We'll measure the height. And then we got the kit here that we're gonna install. We got the new shock spring and fork spring. They're both shorter, but also set up for her weight. And then we also have the actual two inch lowering kit. You get the new kickstand and then the spacers that go internally. I don't do shock work here, so I have a local shop that's gonna do that for me. They do a ton of suspension stuff for us. And then I will do the front fork. So let's show you guys the height of this, the way it sits. We'll show you guys the fork, how that goes. And then we'll come back at the end and we'll show you how tall the bike really is with that two inch lowering kit. So let's jump into it. So now it's true form. That's how the bike wants to sit. And so it's on the wheels. Let's show you guys. In, in the shop here, brand new bike, 36 and a half inches. So stock form, before we do the two inch lowering kit, 36 and a half inches on a beta cross trainer in the workshop. Okay, we're all set up to do the forks. We've got the left hand fork, which is where the fork spring is. And that's where our spacer is gonna go with the new shorter spring. And we also took the right hand fork off because we need to lower the amount of fluid inside of that fork. So stock is 500 cc's, but because we're making the fork shorter, we need 450 cc's of oil. So we've got our new oil, we've got the mix cup there. We have a torque wrench for when we're putting it back together. We've got a 16 millimeter for the GM nut down inside. And then this is the beta specific tool. It's a two in one, it's, it's really cool. We can do on this side, it'll undo the caps. And then this side, we'll do the nut that's holding the spring down. So first thing we'll do is we'll crack the top off the fork and we'll bleed the fluid out. Now we got the outer fork unscrewed. We're gonna loosen this GM nut up. We're gonna set their tool up on top again. We'll crack the GM nut here. And once it's relieved, it should spin off pretty easy. So we're gonna back the GM nut down and we'll spin the cap right off. And the next thing we'll do is we need to get the rod out of the middle and we're gonna drain this fork fluid. Now that the oil is about done draining, we're gonna pull the center rod out. We're gonna set it right here. We're gonna re-grease that when we put it back in. And so this is where our torch comes into play. We have, I slide this down. We have to get this nut unscrewed and it's, it's got a red Loctite on it. So that's where the torch, if you already have this lowering kit in there, you cannot use the torch at this step because they say you can melt this collar. It's nylon. So if you had that already in it and you were just taking this apart to do fork seals, you need to just use like a heat gun but we don't have that kit in there yet. So we will go ahead and use the torch for 20 seconds and loosen that red Loctite up. So we didn't even heat this for 20 seconds. We just gave it a little bit of heat and with a big enough wrench, it comes right out. So got lucky with the motorcycle stand here. was able to put the lower fork tube right in there like I was chalking the front wheel up. And we'll just spin this loose and pull the nut out. It's still kind of warm, so we're gonna give it a second to cool down here. So now it should be cooled down just a little bit. We'll take our tool out of here. We've got our spring seat stop now. This is where all the the kit's gonna go. I'm gonna put it right inside of here. But the first thing we should do is change our spring out. We're gonna pull that spring up and out and we're gonna put the new spring down in so we don't forget to do that. All right, I just grabbed a pick tool. I'm gonna use this to get the uh, old spring out. And the old spring is tapered at both ends and it's important to note that the new one is not. So 
I'll set both here and hopefully they're in view. Hopefully you can see how much taller the old spring is. And we have to make sure that the flat spot on the new spring goes down because our spring up here in the top, we have this cap and this has to fit down in there nicely. If you're doing aftermarket springs, you wanna make sure that your spring is big enough for this to slide down into. So this is a beta OEM spring, bought it right with the kit. So we're gonna slide the new spring down in there so we don't forget to do that. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this GM nut and we're gonna loosen it all the way up and take it all the way off. So we've got our spacer. We're gonna slide this on now. We're gonna reinstall our GM nut. We'll slide our assembly back down in there and make sure that the bullet seats down in the spring. And you'll feel it. You just gotta push it down in there just right. And then we're gonna put some Loctite on our nut and retorque this down. We'll now use some of our KYB suspension grease and we're gonna grease the preload rod. So I'm gonna grease it up pretty good. And we'll slide this down inside the middle of the cartridge there. The next step is important to make sure the jam nut is bottomed out on the threads before you try to put the cap on. If your jam nut is too high, it will not let the cap seat properly and not let the preload read correctly. So you wanna make sure that this is all the way down and then we'll screw our cap on. And then once this bottoms out on the cartridge, then we'll tighten the jam nut up to the bottom of the cap. So right there, you can see that the cap just bottomed out. You can see it quit spinning. So now we'll take the jam nut and we'll tighten it up against the bottom of the cap. Once the jam nut is tight, we'll now measure out 450 cc's of oil and we'll put it back in the cartridge here. Now that we've got 450 cc's measured out, we wanna dump this in. But what you'll notice is now that we put that nylon spacer inside of here, it really blocks the oil passageway underneath that nut. So what you need to do once this kit is installed, it's really hard to see on the GoPro, but that nylon spacer is snugged right up against this. There's no room for the oil to go down. You'll have to pull up on the outer tube dump the oil in and that and put it down for demonstration. Then you have to push down in the center cartridge. That way that nylon spacer will be pulled away from the nut. So we're gonna pull it up, put oil in, and then push down on the center and that'll allow the oil to go down past. push down one last time just to get get it all passed. <laughs> so now that we've got oil inside the fork tube, we're gonna re-grease the threads and the o-ring up top, and we're gonna re-thread this on, and we'll re-torque it down, and then we'll be done with the right hand fork leg. We are now done with the right fork tube, and all we're gonna do to the left fork tube, we've already measured out 450 cc's of oil. We're gonna crack the cap loose on the top of this thing. We're gonna dump the old oil out and we're gonna refill it with 450 cc's of oil. That way both sides match. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we went over and we got the rear shock from Travis over at TK Shocks. It's completed for us. 
We got the forks are reinstalled on the bike and the bike's back to where it should be. We got the new kickstand installed as well. So now it's gonna lean properly. If you do the two inch lowering kit, make sure you put the kickstand on, otherwise it won't, it won't rest like it should. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to bring you guys in closer now and we'll show you the actual sea height, the way this bike is sitting in the shop here. So come on in and we'll have a look at this. All right, let's sneak this tape measure in here. I've got you guys brought down to the sea height and the tape measure is on the ground. Before we were at thir just over 36 and a half and now we are just under 35 inches. So this kit went down well over an inch and a half. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys checking out our channel. If you wouldn't mind, please consider subscribing and liking our videos. It helps our channel grow. And again, if you need beta parts, please consider giving us a call. We can drop ship anywhere in the USA and we offer discounts. So give us a call. Thanks.